What is the weirdest thing you had to do at someone else's house because of their culture slash religion? I worked for a rental car company in an orthodox Jewish community. A customer rushed in on a Friday evening and asked to be driven home immediately because if we didn't make it to his house by sundown he would have to get out of the car and walk the rest of the way due to the Sabbath. He used an app on his phone to tell him the exact time of sundown each day. I didn't have a driver available to I just told him to go home and I'll come by his house later to grab the car. A half hour later I arrive at his house. Husband is nowhere to be found, and the following scenario ensues with his wife, my husband left the keys on our bedside table, and I'm not allowed to touch them. Can you come in and grab them please? I awkwardly follow her into her bedroom and grab them from the bedside table. Can I ask one more favor? Do you mind unplugging the house for me? I then follow her into her basement and enter a room where there are literally 15 to 20 different electrical cords coming through holes in the, the walls and ceiling and through a tangled series of different outlet strips are all consolidated into one master plug going into a standard wall outlet. She points at it and asks me to unplug it. I do. She thanks me. I leave. I had a lot of wild experiences in 5 years working that job. This one was definitely top 5. Went to a friend's house for dinner a lovely meal. The whole family cleaned their plates of food then turned them over and ate dessert on the back of their plates like it was the most normal thing in the world. I copied them just to be polite. This might be my favorite one here. The mental image of a family flipping their plates over to eat dessert is absolutely hilarious. We got yelled at for playing the devil game again. We were playing Mario Kart and Bowser kept freaking his mom out. So we muted it and all was fine from then on. Meanwhile his little brother was literally playing Diablo 2 at the time in the same room. But he already had it muted, so it wasn't a problem I guess. Had this exact experience, playing Commander Keen. His brother was playing Warcraft 3 as undead right besides us, but that was fine. Alrighty then. I had a good friend whose family were wealthy and very big on some weird sort of gift giving. Basically there were two things. 1. You could not give them a present, no gifts at birthdays, Christmas, etc. If you gave them a gift they would either politely refuse or donate it. 2. You always received a gift, if you went to their house, even if it was for an afternoon. I remember going to my friend's house when I was 8 or 9, 1998-1999, and them giving me a PlayStation and each time I went over they'd give me a new game, which continued until they gave me a Nintendo GameCube. Very weird, and it wasn't, because I was poor, we lived in the same area etc. This recently repeated itself, when I visited my friend's house, now lives with his own family, and when I was leaving his wife was trying to give me a bottle of scotch and my daughter a fucking Nintendo Switch. Edit. They were Middle Eastern, not really sure what religion. His dad was a property developer and investor, this was in Australia Sydney. It just felt awkward after a while. When I lived in Antwerp, Belgium, I once was stopped by an elderly woman on the street. She was asking for help inside her house. Guiding me through a house where the temperature was way too hot, she stopped at every radiator and asked me to turn them down. In the end we went to the kitchen where some Jewish women and children were watching me silently while I was putting all the burning gas stoves on a low heat. Then she showed me out, thanked me and closed the door. In Antwerp there is a big community of Hasidic Jews, I can imagine this was during Sabbath. Correct. They can't adjust fire on the Sabbath. So they asked a Gentile to do it for them. There are limitations on that as well. I guess this qualifies as culture. My sister was dating a man that had been raised in a nudist colony. He took her to meet his family at their house at the colony. She was a tad surprised when his mother immediately says there is a hook on the bathroom door for your clothes. My sister proceeds to spend the entire evening naked with his folks. Her BF had told her before they went that it would be her option, but I guess his parents didn't think so. Man I wish I was as confident and comfortable in my body as those guys will mayo. I went over to a friend's house for a sleepover, and when I changed into my pajamas her mom started demanding I put something else on and throw my pajamas out. I was really confused. She was yelling about how my pajamas were sinful and bore signs of the devil. 
I ended up just calling my mom to take me home because I was so uncomfortable, but that woman just kept scolding us for allowing me to wear satanic symbols. The symbols on my pajamas? Peace signs. She said they were broken crosses, so clearly a sign of the devil. That is just ignorant. The peace sign stands for nuclear disarmament in flag semaphore characters. It's in no way spiritual. I don't know if this counts as someone's culture. But when I was a kid, I had a sleepover with a friend that always sleeps naked. And I decided to sleep naked with him lol. Nothing sexual, just thought it was weird. I love how you thought it was weird, but you also decided to take part in it. Must have ice cream after dinner, even a spoonful was enough. My friend invited me for a sleepover and his dad took out a small bucket of ice cream. Turns out they have a separate freezer just for ice cream. Friend's mom didn't want any, so she just took a spoonful from her husband. His dad would offer me ice cream whenever he can. We went for a drive and his dad saw a Dairy Queen we went there and spent an hour inside trying every kind of ice cream they had. His mom wasn't any different, but it was with making sure the meal was balanced. Doesn't matter if you ate a dozen fried chicken, but you better eat a lot of vegetables with it. I thought that they probably grew up poor and ice cream was a luxury his dad never had, and maybe his mom wasn't able to eat much. My paternal grandma was unwilling to let a guest go home without eating anything. Went to stay with distant relatives in Lithuania during winter. It's nothing for them to all get naked in the sauna and pat each other with birch branches then run out and roll in the snow. After a while I just went fuck it and gave in to my inhibitions, but at first it was a bit confronting being naked, exposed and vulnerable. On the flip side, their snow chilled vodka was primo which broke the ice so to speak, would 100% do again. I'm from Finland and I have seen every member of my family naked. From grandpa to uncle and aunt. Strong sauna culture here, and I think it would be weird if someone had not seen them naked. Nowadays we go to the sauna by gender, but it is common to have mixed sauna as well. I'm reminded of the story on Reddit where a girl went to her boyfriend's parents house to meet them, and they had a ritual where they gather around a table and savagely consume an entire orange, skin and all. She didn't do it, and she upset the entire family. I think it's my favorite story from Reddit. I had a neighborhood friend that I played on the street with and at school sometimes. Her mom and dad always told me I wasn't allowed to be in the same room as my friend's older brothers because seeing young women was a sin for unmarried men. I was 10 at the most. The youngest of her older brothers was 16. When I was asked by my friend to sleep over for her birthday I was told by her and her mother that I needed to remain in my friend's bedroom, her mother would bring us food and drinks and take us to go to the bathroom whenever it was safe. I told my sister about it the next day and she told me I wasn't allowed to go near their house or my friend again. To this day I still don't know if it was actually due to culture slash religion or if maybe they just had a really fucking weird family. I once went to have dinner with a girl from uni who came from a super nice but very religious family. Her dad turned out to be the pastor. Absolutely no problem being silent while they're praying before dinner. However after dinner the whole family got their Bibles out and asked me politely, which my favorite verse was, so we could read it together. A. Late to the game, but here goes. I had a friend growing up whose parents didn't allow any snacks in the house. Every time he invited me over to spend the night, I was expected to bring boxes of snack food because it could be allowed if brought in by an outsider. And yes, his parents would partake too. So there was junior high school aged Hijastash bringing boxes of snacks for an entire family to have a back quote cheap night at my expense. When I was in primary school, I made a new friend from Hong Kong. One day she came over to my house for a play date, and when her parents came to pick her up in the evening, my parents invited them all to stay for dinner at ours. They were new immigrants to Australia and I guess my parents thought they might not have many friends or family here. Anyway, they politely declined and said they didn't want to impose. My parents insisted it was no imposition at all, but they again declined saying they didn't want to be rude and intrude on our family. We were kind of taken aback, but just assumed maybe they had their own dinner waiting at home and were too polite to say, so we saw them off. 
My friend later explained that her parents thought my parents weren't being genuine and were only asking out of politeness and the fact that our parents didn't press the issue further was proof that we didn't really want them there. It's not weird, but I thought it was an interesting contrast even as a kid. In the West, when someone offers you hospitality, it's seen as a genuine and voluntary gesture and it'd be rude to turn it down. Whereas in some cultures, the offer of hospitality is seen as a compulsory courtesy, but not necessarily always genuinely meant, so it's impolite to accept it immediately. In the West it would be impolite to keep insisting after someone's already declined an offer, but in other cultures you're expected to press the issue a bit and keep insisting to give them a chance to accept if they want to without appearing rude. Work nights for a while. Rented a house in a suburban area with heavy Jewish population. One morning at 8am got a knock at the door. Got home from work at 4am. So, I'm instantly annoyed, so annoyed that I answer the door in my boxes. Three little kids all look up at me. I sighed heavily and use the door to cover my nearly naked body. They squeaked up can you turn off our fire? At first I thought to tell them to just call the police and then said wait, do you mean your stove? Was answered in the affirmative. I quickly got dressed, went over and knocked on the door. The wife of the house opened the door and quickly pulled me in by my shirt. I looked around quickly and there was very little furniture in the house. Their kitchen table was a folding table with plastic chair and a bunch of men around it talking about the Islamic Brotherhood. The wife asked me to press one button on her electric stove, did it, then was very briskly pushed out of the house. I understand their religious practices. Still weird. Promptly went back to bed. I was kicked out of her elementary school friend's birthday party because another friend and I played witches in her treehouse. She was Southern Baptist. There was a literal cauldron in her treehouse. I stand by my decision. I got kicked out of a house once for saying, what the heck. They too were Southern Baptists. When meeting my Finnish Fianke's family, I was invited to a sauna with her brother. No clothes allowed. Ten tenths would sweat with my boy again. I'm a Finn. On my travels in the US our sauna culture came up when someone asked about it. I told that I had gone to sauna and skinny dipping with all my siblings. I had seen naked human bodies, both male and female all my life, this was to a horror of the locals, who were quick to say they were sorry that I had been abused as a child, this got into a very curious conversation, if non-sexual nudity is harming minors. I'm personally just fine with my body and never really had any of those omg. I once saw a glimpse of my aunt's boob moments I've heard in so many American stories. The end. Thanks for watching.